we set up a base camp, mm-hmm. a really simple facility, just tent style situation, um, and brought in, you know, basic facilities, um, hose, uh, uh, drums, mm-hmm. um, netting, you know, just keeping it as simple as possible because mm-hmm. um, simple is replicable. Mm-hmm. Um, especially in a disaster zone, you make it too fancy, and then people look at it and go, "Yeah, that's cool. I can, I can't do that." So they get kind of disempowered. So we try to mm-hmm. keep it as simple mm-hmm. as possible. Mm-hmm. And then um, Steve started doing some PDC trainings, mm-hmm. um, which were basically open to the public. Mm-hmm. And we went around to the to the um, refugee camps to mm-hmm. promote the trainings. Mm-hmm. Tell people, you know, this this training is available. For you. For anyone who's interested in um, these topics, um, so if you'd like to come to the training, a um, few people came and did the training, and at the end of the training, basically said, uh, "I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm just staying. This is awesome. This is really, really um, great for me. Wow. I feel like um, positive for the first mm-hmm. time. Mm. Um, I feel some use for me. That's that's." Um, Emergency zone, uh, post disaster zone. Uh, people, they've lost their livelihoods. They lost their homes. They've lost um, what the things that they would normally do. So they're basically sitting around doing nothing all the time, and that's mm. very, very hard. That's that piles trauma on top of trauma. Mm. Giving people an opportunity to do something that they feel is useful mm. um, and work with their hands, be mm. active, mm-hmm. stop thinking all the time about how sad you are. Sure, um, is an amazing. Um, contribution, just mm. that in and of itself. Mm. And then when you, in the later stages of the project, when those people who you know are maybe out uh, teaching or sharing permaculture, it's it's you know uh, tenfold mm-hmm. because they have a sense that they're actually doing something to help the situation, and that's extremely healing. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, yeah, our initial team was um, uh, ex refugees from. Mm the camps mm-hmm. who um, then, you know, at a certain point in the development, we felt ready to, you know, make the initiative pretty much fully local. Mm-hmm. Um, so at that point, um, the project management, the project direction was driven by the core team who had received the initial training mm-hmm. and had, and then they started sort of adapting the approach and the methodology and the curriculum and so on to the local needs, local situations. Mm. Um, so then the next step was looking at strategy. Um, mm-hmm. so we, we sort of looked at the whole region Ache, mm-hmm. and we started making sure that whenever we had trainings, we had representatives, um, in the trainees from the various regions who were coming mm-hmm. together, learning together. Um, and then those, uh, um, Trainers. I mean, our, our training of trainer program took about three months mm-hmm. intensive internship. Mm-hmm. Um, so we would have these um, representatives from different areas of Ache living at the center at mm-hmm. the base camp, mm-hmm. and also helping to develop the base camp. So the, the base camp. So we had a base camp, which was also doubled as a training center and a demonstration site for the various permaculture technologies. So um, we had. Lots of different types of gardens, um, a large nursery, aquaculture, um, animal husbandry systems, um, SRI, um, and so on and so forth. So, uh, wastewater uh, what's gardens. SRI, sorry. Um, system for rice intensification. It's a it's a mm-hmm. it's a very effective method for um, better rice production using local strains okay. and organic methods. Okay. And uh, less, a lot less water okay. for production. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, this, the the center was the hub, mm-hmm. and then um, we started doing outreach. So once once our core team had expanded to include representatives from the different regions of Ache, mm-hmm. and they had learned about the management of a demonstration site like the one that we had at our main center, they would then go out in teams. Um, to the various regions of Aceh and, and live on site for like six months. Mm-hmm. So they'd have a team of maybe eight, eight trainers, um, some of them senior trainers, some of them junior trainers. So it was like a live in learning how to be a trainer situation. Mm-hmm. And then they would establish kind of mini versions of the main center in the different regions. So there would mm-hmm. be a, 
um, a small center which would have demonstrations of the various uh, permaculture methodologies, technologies, mm. um, which were developed as part of trainings with the communities in those areas. Mm. And then that center was sort of, um, it didn't work in every area, by the way. Um, some areas were really successful, others not so successful mm. um, for various reasons. Mm. Um, but the end goal was that these mini outreach centers would, would be owned by the communities themselves mm. and be a place for, you know, um, getting together, um, sharing seeds, sharing mm. um, ideas, uh, mm. learning together, mm. and then taking the information back into the community. And, you know, this, we learned that, um, by the way, one of the things that we learned was starting small really, really makes a difference. Right. Um, so the focus of the project, um, you know, initially we were looking at farming and mm. um, agriculture and community systems, mm. and to be honest, that didn't go so well. Mm. It was too much too fast. Right. So uh, what was working was the household food gardens and medicinal right. gardens. That right. worked really, really well. Okay. And, and then we learned that over time, with um, women's cooperatives taking on mm. the household garden systems, mm -hmm. It naturally filtered into the agriculture systems by itself. You didn't need to do right. a big, you know, stand on a box about that thing. Okay, okay. Um, because, you know, the, the production that the mothers and wives were getting mm -hmm. in their household gardens was so much better. 